Let's play. Hey guys, Radio here with my very first SimCity Let's Play. Um, for this one, we're going to be going for Let's Play, I think I'm going to call it Let's Play uh, Starter City or Beginnings or something like that. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe we'll have a title at some point for you. But the basis for this series is actually going to be more of a beginner based series in the beginning. Um, we're going to cater more towards newer players to start with. And then as the cities grow and as, as I move on to other regions, you'll see that we're going to be using more advanced techniques as we go along. So even people who've been playing for a while will hopefully learn something and find it at least mildly entertaining. And uh, we're going to also stay away from Cities of Tomorrow, uh, at least for this series. Uh, in, this, in this season we're going to stay away from it. We're going to kind of stick to the basics. And I'm also going to start off with a bit of a smaller area. We're just going to do Cape Trinity to begin with, which is a fairly basic and beginner area. Obviously it has three cities and one Great Works. We may or may not even get into the Great Works. We'll probably uh, vote on that or, or take suggestions and comments from you guys because that's kind of what this is about. I want to have you guys sort of play along with me. So we're going to jump in here to Cape Trinity and I'm going to show you what I have in mind. Uh, I'm actually going to keep the region name the same as well. And uh, I spell that right? I did too. <laughs> and the only reason being is because a lot of times when I was in the beginning watching um, people play I always wanted to know where they were. They'd have a city, and there's there's so many available now. Like, where, where the heck are these guys playing? And it was always a different name, so I'm just going to keep everything the same for now. So if you guys want to look me up, uh, you can. I'm obviously in the North America East 3. My screen name is Radiophonicus, so you guys can look me up. Come on in, see what I've got going on. Uh, look at the regular cities I'm building. Look at the R&D cities that I have going on, so you can kind of see what's coming up, if you'd like. You're, you're more than welcome. So... Enough of that. Let's actually get in here, and we're gonna do like well, we're gonna do a private region, but we're not gonna do sand uh, sandbox. We are going to make this an actual. Let's play this thing and see how well we can do with just the beginning money. Uh, we've got three cities in here, and I have some ideas. I think for this one we're gonna do your standard because it's you know everybody likes the, the long beach. I think we're gonna go with a casino tourism nice you know, maybe a little bit higher wealth area here because that's going to be our fun city. This is probably going to be the last one we do. I'm not sure how much we're going to bounce back and forth or if we're going to finish one and move on. Uh, that'll probably come from your suggestions. Over here I have an idea that I'd really like to make this a university city. I really want to put in the full university or as much of it as we can get and focus on education for the, for the region and just really make that kind of look neat. And then for this one, I know it has some natural resources in it. It's got... Uh, coal and ore and oil but this one because of where the hill is we've got a lower area here we've got this ridge and we also have this upper area I want to stick with oil for now and we're gonna we're gonna do mining for oil or drilling for oil as it were and use that and I think later on we might even refine that into plastics or gasoline or something of that nature uh, because the coal and the oil are up in this area we're not really gonna get into those um, I want to leave those be so let's anyway let's claim this city and get in here and show that to you and kind of go over what we want to uh, what we want to have happen and why you may hear this from time to time that's just a little sailor jerry and uh, diet coke and you may hear my cat henry in the background from time to time as well he likes to make a little bit of noise so before i do anything i like to pause the game because for whatever reason and i've always been this way i don't like to waste any time <laughs> So I don't want to let the game run when I'm not really having anything happen. First thing I want to talk about is something that's actually kind of overlooked, and that is the entrance area into this particular city, but cities in general that have one entrance, and they come off a highway junction like this. If you notice, this has only one lane that comes in from this direction onto our main avenue, and then the other lane that comes into this direction and our main avenue comes from the other side of the highway. So that being said, what I want to do is I want to avoid putting intersections anywhere near this because that will bottleneck all the way down the highway and that's going to cause us some problems. So I'm going to take this, I think I'm going to wrap it around and the temptation is to bring it right around here because it's so much fun to do that and bring it back, but I'm going to avoid that because I want to try to stay away from the just the traffic jams. Uh, now the first thing I do with almost every city besides looking at the intersection or the, the entrance 
is we're going to check our maps. So let's check our wind. And we see that our wind is blowing from the left to our right. And that works out well for us because down here I happen to know this is where our oil is. So we're going to want to mine or drill for this oil. And that's going to help us produce some money and help fund some things in the future. Uh, our ore is up here, which is a bummer only because I know in this area I really want to put more of a lower wealth, medium density sort of row housing look. I really think that look is, is kind of neat. You see it maybe like in cities like Philly uh, and Pittsburgh and things like that. Uh, I don't live anywhere near there, but I just really think that looks cool. So I think I want to kind of do that up here. And then we have our coal here, which I'm just going to, for now at least, leave and not even worry about. Although I am thinking about perhaps putting our, our trade headquarters up here or, or the refinement plants for our oil to make plastics or gasoline. So we'll see how that rolls. But it's important to know that our wind is going from left to right because if you're not aware, if we, let's say, put industry, a bunch of industry over here, and we have residents living on this side of the map, what will happen is they will get sick. Uh, they will certainly get ill, which is going to cause problems later on. They will die, and they will be unhappy, and it's not going to do us any good. So to start with, we're not going to put down our complete concrete design. I have some ideas in mind, but we're just going to kind of get the basics. I'm going to roll this avenue up here and into here. And I'm going to start building in this area, but with basic grid patterns just to start. Now, about my play style, or something you will notice is when I do grids, I am very meticulous with my measurements. I can't help myself. I want to have a nice tight fit and have those buildings fit as well as they can. So a lot of times, I won't even use road guides. I just do measuring. And I have quick tip tutorials on these sorts of things. So you can uh, jump ahead if you want find out what those have to say and come back or you can just listen in game as well as I'm going to be doing the measuring in game so we're going to build over here what I'm not going to do is make a money city or as my man Skystorm calls it a cash cow I'm or I'm not going to exactly make a cash cow and that's when he takes uh, or, or a player takes a city and they build a grid pattern in a specific way that is for no other reason but to generate as much money as fast as they can so they can gift it to the other cities in the region. There's nothing wrong with that and I, I'm sure that we're going to do that in the next season where we start to build more advanced cities in uh, bigger areas. But for this one, being as it's kind of geared more toward the beginner, I want to keep it a little more simple and I want to aim toward using the game right from the beginning. However, what I will be doing certainly is the main avenue, I'll probably keep this at least, but I'm probably going to build in some industrial and build a residential commercial here. I guarantee you this will all be redesigned at some point. So I know you're wondering when I'm going to build anything, so let's get into that, and we're going to start off with our avenue, and we're going to drag it straight forward for a little bit. Let's go up here and see what we get. Uh, one of the other things that I really like uh, are curved roads. I like to stay away from sharp intersections as much as I can only because, well, number one, because it looks good. Number two, because it can cause severe traffic jams. And this is not going quite the way I was hoping as far as, you know, that's not quite what I want. But yeah, traffic jams abound will happen if you use too many um, T intersections or you have uh, interchanges that are going to have stoplights and things like that. That is a little closer to what I want. So let's plop that there. And you're going to say, you're wasting money already, but I am. I'm going to go ahead and waste money. I'm going to connect this right here, straight up. And then I'm going to bulldoze just these two. I'm going to go back into my roads. And I'm going to round this off. And we've been having some, other people have noticed, we've been having some glitches with the, the roads coming together in a smooth fashion. And if this doesn't work, I might have to take that back a little bit more. A lot of times, if you come out with a bigger arc and come back, but that's just not working. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to back this up one more on each side. And we'll give this a go and see if that works. And that's going to do exactly what I want it to do. That looks much nicer. So let's smooth that out. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some industry over here. So I'm not going to use road guides. I am going to measure with low density dirt roads. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All I want to start with are the lower density buildings. I don't want any large density buildings right now because we're probably going to move all of this anyway. I also am not going to build right off of my avenue. And the reason for this is it's almost like putting in <coughs> intersections. Pardon me. 
it's almost like putting intersections in at every building because the cars are going to come along this avenue and they're going to stop to build or they're going to stop to go to work but they have to stop right off of our avenue to get to all of these buildings so what we're going to do is we're going to come off of this avenue build a road back here and we're going to attach our buildings to this road so they're going to be flush or fit very well with this avenue and it'll look great but they actually have to come in and go down a street to get to those so that keeps the traffic flowing all the way down here so we can avoid that that bottleneck or that backup down here so from an avenue to a road let me look at my cheat sheet because that's exactly what I'm doing 170 simoleons so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna measure off 170 give or take as close as I can get 171 is gonna be perfect so let's do that we'll put this straight row now there is a difference from road to road and that one is 146 I knew that so we're gonna do 146 or as close as I can get it and bang on so let's put this here and we'll connect this up here and we'll bodoze that so that's gonna be our starter industrial area and I'm gonna go back to my avenues and I am going to draw out a straight road now when I'm drawing straight roads in the very beginning of the game um, you pick a starting point, no matter where you want it. I hold the shift key, not only to keep it straight, but also because it'll go to the cardinal directions of the game. Uh, we've got, I know probably this isn't facing north, but because I'm going up, it feels north. We have north, and then south, and then east and west. But it'll also give you the exact 45s of each direction as well. So I'm going to go straight across here. And I'm not going to go crazy far. I don't want to waste too much money. But I'm going to put that right down there. And then I'm going to go into my curve tool. I use the shortcut. As you can see, there's a J in parentheses. You hit that J key, and I'm going to touch this together. And that looks pretty good. Let's see how that dip is. Oh, that's not bad. A lot of times when you're terraforming on these hills with roads, you can get really nasty, ugly-looking dips. And I try to smooth those out as best I can. But I am actually going to go ahead and live with that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and build very boring block systems right here. So I'm just going to put a straight road down here. And I'm going to measure out 146. 147 is fine. Do the same thing. And these are going to be very uneventful, very boring looking roads to begin with. They're just going to be grid patterns to move the Sims into the city to start making some money so we can move on with our advanced build as we go along. And I know I said I wasn't going to do a cash cow, and this is only slightly different, but being as we're going to use this specifically for advancing our in-town build rather than gifting the money someplace else I'm going to live guilt-free now I'm also going to use wind power to start but I don't want to use wind power for this city and the reason being is we have a lot of great oil right here so if we use an oil power plant not only will it generate a lot more money uh, it will also be more cost effective or not cost effective but uh, space effective which actually probably can lead to cost effectiveness because we can use that big area for other buildings that are going to generate revenue uh, when we use wind power if you haven't used it before and I'm assuming you have it starts off fine but you end up having to draw a big long road and have a bunch of wind turbines and it takes up a boatload of space and I'm going to want to stay away from that altogether so we're going to start off with wind power and of course just a water tower and of course we'll get into sewage but because we have yet to actually start the game we can't do any of those things so we're going to hit play and we're just going to go in at the turtle speed and now we can connect and I'm going to pause again because I told you I'm just that retentive about it so let's grab some power and we're just going to dump it right here because up here is the highest wind speed we're going to get down here it's seven miles an hour I believe so the darker blue being up top we're just going to drop that down. And again, it doesn't matter because this is only temporary, so I'm not worried about how it looks or anything. Uh, let's move into water. Let's place down a water tower, and there's a bunch of water right there, so let's put that there. And I'm not going to worry about sewage just yet, but now let's go ahead and get into zoning. We're going to put some residential down. And what I want to do here is you can only zone one side because that's the way I've, I've structured it. If you notice, if you look in here, you can see how tight that fit is. That means only one building is going to fit in between these roads. I just like that look. I know we're going to demolish all of this, but I just can't help myself. I like the way that looks, and you can just see how tight a fit that is. I'm going to zone this entire row. And a shortcut to that is holding the control key. 
but as you can see that zones the entire rectangle so here is a free quick tip without even having to go to a different video we're going to get a starting point and I don't want it to be on this avenue as we talk because I don't want to build on the avenue it's going to be right here so I'm going to click once here and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click again and that's fine now when I go into the center and I hold control it's only going to give me between these two points and that's a quick way to zone that entire area so let's do that again here and here and I'm only going to put in a little bit of commercial to start because I don't want to flood the area but they're going to need some place to work so let's do that as well and that's that and we'll start with just that for now now let's jump into the game and hit cheetah speed let's let this thing really go so we can get some people in here and make some money get out of the red get into the green and see what happens they're already moving in they're already building the commercials building faster than the residents speaking of which uh, when it comes to traffic a quick thing we can discuss going into the zoning tool the patterns of the sims the sims are born shoppers they absolutely love to shop and what they do their pattern is they will go from home to work to home to shopping and then finally back home for the night that is a lot of traffic but it also helps you figure out where they're going so if they work in commercial which does happen they're gonna go from work or from home to work to home to shop again which is strange and then they're gonna come back home again so keeping your commercial close to your residential is gonna help a lot because they wanna shop no matter what so you kinda of wanna alternate it or mix it up but you don't wanna have your commercial too far away they don't mind commuting to get to work if it's an industrial area, um, provided it's easy to get to. Uh, so we're going to get into putting down mass transit, public transportation, those sorts of things as we go. So just something to kind of help you along the way to figure out what's going on and why. So now we have been approved for Town Hall. So I'm just going to plop this in right here again because it doesn't really matter. We're going to be moving this anyway and at some point soon they're going to be asking for sewage because they have a problem so again I'm not going to rename my city I'm just gonna keep it Norwich Hills so you know where I'm at I'm gonna pause the game but uh, yeah so you know where we are at all times I'm just gonna keep the city names exactly the same so you know exactly where I am and what I'm doing now for this for our outflow pipe I don't want to put it anywhere near things that are going to be useful we certainly don't want it near our water because it'll contaminate the ground around it and then we'll pump out dirty poo water and then everybody will get sick and die uh, and we're gonna have enough pollution down here so what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna put it way out here in the middle of nowhere because by the time we get back to this area we will have long since put in a sewage treatment plant and then a water pumping station uh, so we won't have to worry about this ground pollution because we will clear this up with trees which is actually also available in a quick tip that I have on my channel so you can take a look at that so for now we're gonna go back to our dirt road and we're gonna just draw a simple dirt road connect it all the way out here now if you notice when I when I hold down the, sh the, the shift key it's snapping and it doesn't look like it's parallel to these other roads here and that's because this part of the road is not perpendicular so just bear that in mind when you're trying to draw straight lines from streets that are not... Oh, that is terrible. I'm going to hate that in the future, and I know even after I demolish this, that hump is going to be there, and I'm going to have to try to fix that. At any rate, be careful when you're pulling streets from roads that have curves in them, because they, if you hold the shift key, are going to go off of that particular point, not the cardinal directions of the map in general. At any rate, let's get back to... Well, we can let this game play. Uh, and we're going to go to our sewage get that all the way out here at the very end and then one of my favorite parts of the entire game is watching a little brown poo flow all the way down the street and to the sewage treatment plants I don't know why but it's probably because I'm a big kid but it amuses me every single time man that's really going to bother me I'm going to have to live with that for now I'm just going to have to live with it so what do we have going on we have people moving in taxes we can raise our taxes uh, another quick tip I have but we're gonna raise those taxes up to 12 percent because this is as high as we can go right now all we have are low wealth sims so we're gonna raise those taxes to 12 percent because that's gonna make us as much money as we can get and they're not gonna be upset at all they have a zero modifier which means they're not unhappy or happy so they're not gonna move out it doesn't increase growth but they're gonna move in no matter what anyway so and what is our RCI looking like we have I lost my mouse well there's a fun glitch Oh, I've really lost my mouse. Well, 
I have no cursor. Oh, there it goes. That was odd. Details. Available jobs unemployed. Okay, that's always good. And we need a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So we're going to go ahead and pepper in just a little bit more commercial. Nothing major. And then we're going to extend our avenue. Since we're in the green now, we're making a little bit money. I'm just going to take this straight down. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet as far as this pertains. I have an idea for this area, but we'll worry about that later. And then I'm going to go back in and we're going to measure out a couple more streets because I want to add more residents. I want to get more residents in here so we can make some money to move forward with the game. Yeah, 149 is fine. We'll get that in there. That's fine. So let's bring this out and this out and this over here. And we're going to get rid of these. And let's put some people in here. Let's get them to move in here. Let's go here and here. And I'm going to save some of this. Well, yeah, I'm going to save some of this for commercial. So we're going to put more here. Some more residents here. And let's see how that does us for now. Don't seem to need any industrial. And we're not going to worry about medium wealth yet because we're just not there. Alright, well, you know what? This is filling in nicely as far as getting some people in, making some money. And I may or may not run this game off camera a little bit just to build up some revenue so we can go on with future builds. Uh, one of the things I will mention though is in the gameplay that I have going on, if we go to settings and gameplay, I do have the speech uh, speech bubbles. We've got them hidden, so we're going to hide these. We're going to unhide our speech bubbles. This is going to allow the Sims to tell us what they want us to do, which kind of is almost like a little mini game. It helps you unlock achievements. It can help you earn money. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna have this go from scratch because again, like I said, this is at least to start with more of a beginner series. So we're gonna want these Sims to tell us what they want us to do, and I'm hoping that you will tell me what you would like me to do. And this is gonna be the end of this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna worry about putting down some more or putting down oil in the first place. We're going to start refining that oil or drilling for pumping the oil, drilling the oil, whatever we're going to do. We're getting oil out of the ground. That's what we're going to do. And we'll probably have to get into education and then a fire department, I can guarantee you, because right now our sims are stupid. And what's going to happen is they're going to start lighting things on fire, namely themselves. So we're going to have to get into what sort of city services we need. But something that you should definitely do often, check your utilities. And right now we are well in the green and we're well in the green, and we are well in the green. So everything's good there. Everything's looking good. We can let this run for a bit if we want or not. We'll see. But we will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And be sure to check out some of the quick tips that I have up. And that'll help us along or help you along with planning your game. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.